Excellent. I'm assuming you can hear. We can hear and see you just fine. You want to share your screen just to test? Shall we try again? There you go, Mark. I can hear and see you okay. Uh, so I'm going to share my screen, but I'm going to get rid of me because I'm not terribly interesting and the deck is much more important for all of us. Uh, I'll, I'll come back later if that's if that's something that uh, we want to see. Right, let's see if I can make technology work. Okay, with any luck. Your screen is up and we can see it. Fantastic. I only have four screens here. So good afternoon, everybody. I know it's been quite a long day of sessions. There have been some fantastic speakers. Thank you, everybody. Uh, I'm going to speak with you just a little bit. I want to have a conversation about products, the things that we sell online or hope to sell online. Um, we have stores in the physical world, and we have online stores, and they have a tremendous amount in common. But there's many aspects of each other holding back the other one. In both, um, products need to be the focus. So I want to start with a little thought experiment. Um, the world is changing. I suddenly need an online commerce presence. Something happened, pandemic maybe. What do I do? What's the first step? What's the next step? So we're gonna need some technology to create an online presence. We're gonna need um, an online storefront, a shopping cart, credit card processing services. We're gonna need logistics. We have to get the physical order to our customers, physical order movement. We need some data to glue all of these pieces together. We need marketing so that the rest of the world knows that our new store exists. And of course, we need partnerships to provide all of the missing pieces that we haven't thought of yet. OK, this is great. We're online. Visitors can look at our products. Visitors can search for and choose products. They can see descriptions, categorization. We've done SEO. Visitors can pay for the products. Payment processing is in place. And visitors can get the process, the, the products, and beyond. We can start the, the uh, logistics process. We can start the remarketing cycle. We're all set, right? Well, let's go look. Let's see what this looks like. So most people will call this a product page. Right? It contains a product, a description, some pricing information, some sizing information. I'm going to argue pretty strongly that all of this stuff doesn't matter. Well, OK, it's a little bit important. It's necessary. But the customer needs to keep their focus primarily on your product. In a brick and mortar world, uh, a customer doesn't pick up a list of sizes or a printed product description. They pick up your product. So um, let's acknowledge a litmus test. An online store must be at least as good as its brick and mortar counterpart. If you've ever shopped online before, and I'm assuming you've all shopped online before, you've experienced this, right? Online, we don't have routes through a store to guide discovery or uh, serendipity and impulse purchase. We can't explore products together. You can't pick a product up and hold it next to another product. We have no opportunity for discovery. This isn't actually a shopping experience. This is a buying experience. 
customers shop for products. Images are their digital counterpart. Images are the foundation of the shopping experience. Online commerce is more than just getting products on a website. Images are a way to merchandise your product. It's all in how you use them. Don't lose all of the learnings we have from the brick and mortar world. Don't discard everything we know about merchandising. Product imagery is the proxy for your products. So let's use imagery and technology to our advantage. Let's merchandise our products. First of all, you have to see the images. Customers need to see high quality products. No matter where you are, no matter what device you're using, no matter what your bandwidth. Technology, platform, viewer, these can't be barriers between your products and your customers. And devices, bandwidth, compression, you shouldn't have to worry about these things. Humans shouldn't work for computers. Once the shopper sees a product they want, they want to pick it up. They want to explore it. So here's where online can pull way ahead of brick and mortar and where it most often fails. So magnifying glass, for example, it's great, but it's not wonderful. Users need to be able to explore a product how they want to. OK, so let's say we have some interest in the product. Does it come in different colors? Are there related accessories? This is the customer conversation. These are the things your customers are thinking while they're shopping. And personalization is now the baseline. One-to-one -one manufacturing is common and online experiences must support it, uh, even through manufacturing. Um, sites use our technology both for online preview to engage the customer as they shop and also for back-end fulfillment, generating print-ready content for manufacturer or uh, embroidery machine files for product creation, for example. So let's explore what's possible. How do we bring together the technology of today, emerging technologies of tomorrow, and years of merchandising knowledge? Digital is different than physical products. It has the potential to be far better. By combining our wisdom with the technology, we can actually get the best of both worlds. So let's see what's possible. We no longer develop sites for desktop and mobile. We just develop sites. They have to work everywhere. See the product. Coke machines are very complex. Product delivery automation, payment processing, refrigeration, theft deterrent, even stock management. Yet you just put a dollar in and a Coke pops out. Technology must appear to be simple. It must be magic. Uh, Liquify Resolve works automatically with your browser to determine the best layout and presentation possible, balancing compression, using browser specific, more compact image formats when possible and leaving you in control when you wish. Imagery is more than its brick and mortar counterpart. And while online might actually limit touch, it expands the product interaction opportunity. Online, you can zoom in to a level of detail that's unattainable in store. You can give the user control that enhances the level of product familiarity that you just can't get in the real world. Um, by the way, this isn't the familiar magnifying glass viewer. This is an interactive zoom and pan 
uh, implemented with pixel streaming technology. It works smoothly across all devices, mouse and touch, mobile, desktop, it doesn't matter. Um, allowing your shoppers to see the value of your products. Uh, as magnifying glass, this image would be prohibitively large, but with the liquefier zoom viewer, only the portions of this very high resolution image that are necessary for the user are ever sent to the device. So here we see liquefier collection, a, a thumbnail navigation that works alongside our other viewers, showcasing one product from multiple angles. Consider showcasing related products. Uh, drive serendipity, drive discovery. Explore products, large and small. Take a 360 degree spin and interact physically with the product as if you were there. Except uh, all of our online imaging technologies work together. So even within the 360 degree viewer, we can do colorize, we can do customization, and we can spin. Shopping is evolving from a description of a product and a picture of a product to the product. And this changes how shoppers interact. In the physical world, they don't just stop at the products they like. Online, they should be shown variations as well as complementary products and accessories as they explore. Can you imagine shoppers exploring any product in any color? Along with related accessories or complementary products? Cross sell products actively or let your visitors discover them and even add personalization on demand. Dynamic imaging makes this a reality, reducing upfront preparation, combine products at will, colorize and personalize. Shoppers are significantly more likely to purchase personalized products when they can see them. Photorealistic personalization of any product. This one happens to be in 3D. This is a realistic 3D model imaged on demand using liquefier image map. All of this product has been customized. The handles, the metal rings, the lock, the stitching, the tassel. Notice the customization on the bag surface, the color, even the material is customized as well as the thread accurate embroidered monogram. Realism gains trust. Personalization captures emotion. Today, physical product personalization is possible across a wide range of materials using many varied techniques. Accurate imaging must follow. Photorealism unmatched anywhere. Customers no longer need to imagine. Leather visualized with a debossed stamp. Notice the appearance of depth and how the debossed area is imaged slightly darker, just as a hot stamp leather product would appear. Images act as your counterpart. Uh, products aren't flat, so imaging must match reality. For small products, and large products while maintaining beautiful, realistic explorations. Uh, these previous images showcase actual photographic scenes augmented by liquefier drape. Showcasing your products in situ provides a sense of completion and an opportunity for upsell. From a 3D wireframe to fully textured visualization, fabric appearance can now be changed on a whim. Showcase your products with emerging technologies. Leverage the power of liquefier image map to bring instant 3D renders online. Or interact with your products in 3D today. WebGL opens new immersive worlds, 
allowing customers to explore configurable products in depth. Interactive product configurators combined with WebGL and the dynamic imaging capabilities of Liquify OS provide a product experience beyond what's possible in store. Touch the product and configure it virtually. So where are we now? Well, unfortunately today brings new challenges to all businesses. The world has changed and we must adapt. Organizations are scrambling, some successfully, some not so successfully to create an online presence or they're scrambling to change their focus to be primarily online. There are fundamental ingredients, but success depends more on technology logistics data, the focus must remain on the shopper, on the shopper's experience and on your products. Enhancing your presentation. Images are your products. Placing any image on a web page allows your customers to see the product, but can they really see it? Is the full value of your product being conveyed? Is technology in the way? Is it enhancing your presentation? The customer's experience? Is the technology invisible? Is it weighing down your site? Every second saved leads to increased user interaction. Are you taking advantage of your product's potential? Do the images have the same impact as a physical product? Imagine your online store in a brick and mortar context. Does your website pass? Shopping is about exploration, about discovery, about connecting with a product emotionally. Provide outlets for the connection. Custom products drive sales. Introducing personalization can drive conversion from nominally nothing to a significant revenue stream around just one product. We see this happen all the time. Upsell accessories, focus on the customer and the product, not on a database. Provide the deep connection. Let your customers really zoom into a watch or see the texture of that fabric or smell the leather. Uh, uh, well, all right, almost. Remember, images are your products. They can't be an afterthought. Thanks. Uh, representatives from Liquid Pixels will be around uh, this afternoon in the expo area if there's any questions, or you can reach out to us directly. Thank you all very much. Everybody, just a reminder uh, that the next segment will be the networking. So if anybody would like to join, uh, it'll be on the left-hand side. And we can chat there. Talk to you soon.